Hello everyone, today let's learn something about the blood cells. Blood cell, red blood cell, or erythrocyte. The content of red blood cell in male is 4 to 5.5 times 10 to the power of 12 per liter. And the content of hemoglobin is 120 to 160 gram per liter. The content of red blood cell in female is 3.5 to 5 times 10 to the power of 12 ppl. And the content of hemoglobin is 110 to 150 gram per liter. Anemia is characterized by a decrease in the content of red blood cell or hemoglobin. A decrease in hematocrit, the red blood cells can transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. The hematocrit is defined as the percentage of blood volume that is occupied by blood cells. In this picture, we can see the erythrocyte, leukocyte, and platelet. Erythropoiesis. In embryo, red blood cells come from yolk sac, spleen, and liver. In childhood, red blood cells come from all bone marrow cavities. In adults, red blood cells come from right bone marrow cavities. These are some affecting erythropoiesis factors. Erythropoiesis substance, such as vitamin B12, folic acid, irons, protein, and so on. There are four main reasons that can cause anemia. Lack of erythropoiesis substance, blood loss, hemolysis, and marrow disease. Red blood cells genesis regulation, erythropoietin, EPO. The process is stem cell, BFUE, CFUE, E, precursor, red blood cell. When the tissue is anoxic, the release of EPO from the kidney increases. The life of red blood cells is about 120 days. Physiological property of red blood cells, first, plastic deformation of red blood cells. Second, osmotic fragility of red blood cells. The red blood cells are placed in 0.9% sodium chloride or 5% glucose. The morphology of red blood cells is normal. When red blood cells are placed in 0.45% sodium chloride, some of them are hemolytic. When red blood cells are placed in 0.35% sodium chloride, all red blood cells are hemolytic. Third, suspicion stability of erythrocyte, ESR. Red blood cells sedimentation distance of first hour end. In male, it is 0 to 15 mm per hour. In female, it is 0 to 20 mm per hour. Fourth, real-life formation of erythrocyte. When the content of globulin and fibrinogen increases or the content of plasma albumin decreases, the whole blood viscosity increases, resulting in the regular formation of the red blood cells. White blood cells, the total number is 4 to 10 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter. The number of white blood cells less than or equal to the 4 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter or greater than or equal to 10 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter is abnormal. Among them, neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes account for 50% to 17%, 0.5% to 5%, 0% to 1%, 3 to 8 percent and 20 to 40 percent, respectively. Granulocyte, neutrophilic granulocyte. It has the function of excretion, chemotaxis, and phagocytosis. It can defend bacteria infection and break them. It can swallow bacteria to form abscess. Eosinophilic granulocyte. It has the function of chemotaxis phagocytosis, and parasitical action. It can also inhibit basophil's activity. Basophilic granulocyte. It produces histamine and heparin, causing allergic reactions. It is involved in lipid metabolism. Monocyte. 
or macrophage. First, it can release cytokines like IL and IFN and take part in immunity. Second, it has the function of phagocytosis and can clean out the necrotic tissue debris. Lymphocyte. It also takes part in immunity. T cells take part in cell-mediated immunity process. B cells take part in humoral immunity process. NK cells directly kill virus, infected cells, tumor, and allogeneic cells. Platelet, thrombocyte, TC. The total number is 100 to 300 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter. The properties, adhesion, aggregation, release, contraction, adsorption. The physiological function, repair and supply vessel endothelial, facilitate hemostasis, platelet plug and help coagulation. Let's learn more about the function of the platelet. Physiology, hemostasis, coagulation, and fibrinolysis. The first function, physiology hemostasis. The physiological process stopping blood leakage when a vessel is damaged. The bleeding time is about 1 to 3 minutes. The coagulating time is about 4 to 8 minutes. Let's learn the process of the physiology hemostasis together. First, vascular constriction. The sympathetic nerve excites and releases an E, which leads to local vessel constriction. These are some local vessel constriction substances from platelet, like serotonin and TXA2. Second, formation of platelet plaque. Platelets adhere and aggregate with the ADP, TXA2, calcium ion, and fibrinogen to form platelet plaque. In this picture, we can see the red blood cell, platelet, coallagen fibers, and damaged endothelium. Then, the liberated ADP, serotonin, TXA2. Then, the platelet plaque is formed. This is a complete process diagram. Third, blood coagulation, blood clot. The process is as follows. Severed vessel, platelets agglutinate. Fibrin appears, fibrin clot forms, and clot retention occurs. The second function of the platelet, blood coagulation. Blood coagulation is the process of conversion of blood from fluid to gel. The mechanism is as follows. First, some coagulation factors, such as coagulation factor 1 to 13, precalcarin, high molecular weight kinetogen. Let's learn more about the coagulation factors. The factor 5 is calcium. The factor 3 exists in tissue. Others exist in blood. Other factors are protein or enzyme synthesized in the liver and need vitamin K, like 2, 7, 9, and 10. The factors need active and are destroyed in the liver. Second, blood clotting basic process. Coagulation factor 10 is activated into activated factor 10. Under the action of coagulation factor 5, calcium ion and platelet, Activated factor 10 activates factor 2 into activated factor 2. Activated coagulation factor 2 activates factor 1 into activated factor 1 under the action of calcium ion. Let's focus on the details. First step, prothrombin activator formation from coagulation factor 10 to activated factor 10. Intrinsic pathway needs a lot of coagulation factors from plasma process. It's called phospholipid surface step. Coagulation factor 12 to activated coagulation factor 12 needs help by PK. If someone lacks factor 8, 9, or 11, he will have A, B, or C type hemophil. Extrinsic pathway. The key action is factor 3, tissue factor is activated. Second step, 
thrombin formation from factor 2 to activated factor 2. Last step, fibrin formation from factor 1 to activated factor 1. Next concept, serum. After clotting, the fluid part of the blood is called serum. Anticoagulation and fibrinolysis. Anticoagulation substance. The first one is antithrombin-3, serum protease inhibitor. It inhibits the activation center of activity factor 9, 10, 11, and 12. If the antithrombin-3 binds heparin, the action will be enhanced. The second one is heparin. It has a permissive action to antithrombin-3. Heparin can stimulate vascular endothelial cells to release TFPL. The third one is protein C. Protein C can inactivate activated coagulating factor 5 and 8. It can enhance fibrinolysis. The last one is TFPI, tissue factor pathway inhibitor. It's the main anticoagulation substance. Fibrinolysis, the process. Plasmonogen activators such as TPA, UPA, and activated coagulation factor 12 turn plasmonogen into plasmin. Plasmin turns fibrin into fibrin degradation products. That's all. Thanks for your attention.